When you're using the Sony Z5 cameras, you have two options as to how you can record your footage. You can either shoot using a little mini DV tape, which you will need to provide by yourselves, um, and they sit in the side of the camera here. So on the back of the camera, you have a button, a slider that you will slide down and open the door. The mechanism itself will rise up. You pop the tape in, close the mechanism, it will go down by itself, so you don't need to force anything. Once it's gone down, you can then close this door. In addition to recording on mini DV tape, you can also record onto this memory card recorder unit, which fixes onto the back of the camera. It records directly onto compact flashcards, um, which are stored inside the unit. If you just um, slide this down, where it says open, close, okay, and press this little grey button, the memory card will pop out. You can then put this into your memory card reader, attach it to your computer and download your footage once you've finished filming. When you put the memory card back into the recorder, please make sure that the label is facing towards the door and that you just slide it in. Please don't try and force it in as you may damage some of the pins. Just pops in and then you will close it. Okay. This unit then fixes onto the back of the camera and it connects into this little square at the top of the battery. So you literally just push it in at the top and then click it down into position, holding onto the camera at the same time so that you don't knock it. To release it, you have a button at the top here which says release. Okay. You press that down and you lift the unit up and out and it takes it off. Okay. So again, just to show, pop that on and slide it down. Okay, <clears throat> so with the camera being on, you now need to turn this unit on. To turn it on again, you have exactly the same principle as what you did when you turned the camera on. You need to press the green button in and then slide it over towards where it says on. We need to now make sure that the camera and the memory card recording unit are uh, talking to each other. So we need to set a few settings on the camera and a few settings on the recorder to make sure that they talk to each other. Okay, so the menu settings that we need to change first of all are on the camera. So if we press the menu button at the side of the camera, okay, we'll see our menu on the screen. Using our um, scroll wheel that we used at the very start to set our date and time, we're going to scroll down to the menu setting that says in slash out record and it's got two little arrows, one facing left and one facing right. I'm going to press the scroll wheel in and I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see something that says EXT Rec Control, so External Record Control. Again, I'm going to press this dial in and it will give me two options. It says Record Control Mode and Standby Command. So first of all, in Record Control Mode, I'm going to go in and I'm going to set that to Synchronous. Okay, so what that means is that it will synchronise the recording from the camera to the record unit. So when I hit record on the camera, it will also record on the unit. Um, you don't need to worry about standby command mode. Um, always leave that where it says record pause. Okay, so I'm going to go back up to where it says OK. And I'm going to now press the menu button, which will bring me out of the menu and take me back to my screen. On the screen now, I can see something that says EXT and it's got two little lines and then something that says CF, which means that the camera is set up to talk to the unit. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is make sure that the unit on the back of the camera has the same settings as well, so it knows to listen to the camera. So I'm going to press the menu button on the back of the record unit and using my up and down arrow keys, which are also my rewind and my fast forward keys, I'm going to go down to where it says setting. Okay, I'm going to press the play button and go into settings and go all the way down to where I can see cam link sal. Okay, I'm going to go into that setting and I'm going to make sure that is also on synchro. Okay, so it's synchronous to the camera. Okay, so press the play button in again and I'm now going to press the menu button which will bring me out of the menu. Okay, there's one other thing that you need to do. On the camera in the top left hand corner, you should see an arrow that's kind of a broken arrow. It comes down, across and down again. 
If you don't see that little arrow, you need to press this button on the back of the camera that says cam link. If I press that button now, the arrow has disappeared. It means the camera will not communicate with the recorder. If I press that cam link button again, then the arrow will appear. So I need to always make sure that that arrow is on the corner of the screen. Okay. I can then quite simply just hit record on the back of the camera here where the on off button was. Okay. Or I can press this record button and this black button here at the same time, which will automatically start recording for me as well. So if I press the record button, I have a little light on the back of the unit, red, which indicates I'm recording. I have time code, which will be changing here. And on the LCD screen of the camera, I also have a red record button or red record indicator. You can ignore the flashing tape. This doesn't have any issue. Um, it's just saying that there is no tape inside the camera, but that's not a problem. That won't stop it from recording. Okay. Once I've finished recording my footage, I can either hit the red button again, or I can hit the stop button on the back of the recorder. Okay. It will stop recording. It will flash to say it's recording it, and then it will finish, and it's ready to then start recording again. If you need to format the memory card, you press the menu button, and go down to where it says delete, press the play button or the X button to execute that and go down to where it says format and again press the play button and choose OK. That will format your memory card for you. Okay, and then you can just press the menu button and you'll come out of that menu.